You're tuned to Radio Caroline on 199, your all-day music station. This is Simon D. talking to you on behalf of all of us on Radio Caroline here, four and a half miles away from Felix, though. Now, what can I tell you about uh, the station? Well, our technical equipment, I suppose. Firstly, the transmitters are made by Continental Electronics in the States and are 10 kilowatts each, two of them, costing about 50,000 pounds each. And they will shortly be looped together. I expect to give us a stronger signal when all the uh, boffins are finished working on them. The studio itself consists of various equipment, tape recorders, record players, of course, basically in a mixer. The record players are made by Gates, costing about 500 pounds each, and the Ampex tape recorders, I don't know the cost of those, I think they're about 1,000 pounds each, got about five of those. Now, the antenna, well, that's folded dipole aerial, which doesn't mean much to me, it probably means more to you. It's uh, 168 feet high from the deck, or near 200 feet from sea level, I suppose. It is, in fact, the tallest mast on a ship in the world, one piece, costs a lot of money. Generators, well, of course, they supply the power not only for our signal, but also for the ship. They're made by a Mercedes-Benz. There are two of them downstairs. No, three, actually. There's another one in the engine room. Transmission hours, well, as you know, we go from 6 o'clock in the morning till 9 at night, and from 5 past midnight till 3 a.m. at the moment, making, uh, what, 18 hours a day, or 17 hours 55. We shortly go over to 24 hours, I expect, when we're better organized. Studio staff, radio staff, well, there's uh, four DJs, about five electronic brains mixing with their work with panel operating, engineer side. And they, we all do shift work. At the moment, we are just about to start a shift work on the DJ side, anyway, of two weeks on and one week off. The crew, number about 11, I think, 12, perhaps, with the cook and, of course, the captain, who's up there on the bridge most of the time. Record library, about 8,000 records and many miles of tapes which, of course, we change every so often when we find a tune we like. Well, you know, we're here to stay. We've managed to uh, fight the British government and win, and the GPO, and the customs, and generally everybody else. And thank you once more for your interest in our station. And from me now, and all of you, to all of you, from all of us, bye-bye. You're tuned to Radio Caroline on 199, your all-day music station. Time is half past five, and we only have another half hour of this big lineup, so let's go back and join Christopher. Next one on the turntable, Pete McLean with U.S. Mail. <laughs> This is Caroline on 199, your all-day music station. The sound of music all day, every day, on 199 meters, medium wave. Radio Caroline, new beat, fast and factual. 37-year-old Reg Calvert, manager of many pop beat groups, including the Fortunes, and owner of the offshore radio station Radio City, was shot dead in a country mansion near Saffron Warden, Essex, early this morning. A man is reported to be helping the Essex police in their inquiries into the shooting. A shroud of mystery has surrounded the activities of Mr. Calvert during the past two weeks, with conflicting reports being issued as to the future of his station. Last Monday, the radio chief asked detectives from Scotland Yard to investigate... And that's them, the Fortunes, number 25 this week in the Caroline 550, and one called You've Got Your Troubles, I've Got Mine. And the time right now is 18 minutes past 10 o'clock, so return to work, please. Tea break is over. Hey, what are you doing? Rehearsing for a nervous breakdown? Get out of here, you nut. And right now it's a round jam band and one called Shake Shake Senora. Are you ready? Shake Shake Senora. What does the Caroline Club mean to you? It means the chance to hear your request on Caroline. Plus, a host of free gifts and special privileges. Badge, membership card, car sticker, and good guy photographs. You get them all when you join the Caroline Club. Send five shillings to Caroline Club Membership Department, 6 Chesterfield Gardens, London, West 1. This was a show shot last week. This week in the parade, Johnny Cash, Ring of Fire. Oh, here's a burning tree. 
Yeah, it's a heart full of soul there from the fabulous Yardbirds. Hi, Tony Blackburn. This is Sam the Sham. And, and the Pharaohs, Dave on bass. Jerry on drums. Ray on guitar. And Butch on sax. Telling you that we'd like to thank you for helping us make Wooly Bully such a big hit. We'll see you soon in Britain. Uno, dos, one, two, three, cuatro. And it's down 10 places to Sam the Sham this week to number 38. Wooly Bully! Oh, thank you. Watch it yourself. Come this fast one. Presenting Caroline Headline News and Weather. Fenders Fresh. Fenders Fresh. Fresh. That's just the word for Fenders. Because everything Fenders freezes is just that little bit better. Fenders peas are picked and packed in a matter of hours. That's why they taste fresh. Finder's fish is frozen on the spot. No wonder it keeps that fine, fresh flavor. So what do Finder's mean when they say everything Finder's freezes is just that little bit better? They mean that Finder's is simply the best you can buy. And where frozen food's concerned, for best, read Tastes Freshest. Finder's Fresh. Finder's Fresh. Finder's Fresh. Caroline Cash Casino with Findus and be in line for big cash prizes. Well, right now I'm going to tell the older types the lineup for the fabulous January issue of Music Maker. Scott Walker gives the real facts behind the Walker Brothers' success. The Beach Boys, a blow-by-blow description of their conquest of Britain, an expert assessment of the Beatles' pop future, and a long look at the masters of the pop songwriting business, including Lennon McCartney and Ray Davies. Plus, many exclusive features for folk and jazz fans. Record reviews, wonderful pictures. It's all in Music Maker, Britain's new in-touch month, music monthly. Make sure you get your copy. That's Music Maker, January issue, out now, three shillings. A VIP, a very important pop. I want you all to listen very insegrievously and very attentively now because, as you know, we do have a recording store on board. His name is Mick Loves It, and he's got a knockout sound to sing for you. No, I'm not lonely. Although we haven't done the sounds of Bobby Dylan, I'm going to call. I want you to number 25 in the Caroline Count. Done a sound all the new numbers today. They're all getting me a wee bit confused to start with. Right, on with the next one here. And this one comes from M3, Trevant's camping site. That's New Key in Cornwall. And uh, anytime on Saturday the 13th, OK, Tar, it says the top. And it says, Dear Jock. Jock being dust jock, you see. Uh, I'm having a marvelous time down here on holiday, but I am choked because you're out of range. Oh, well, 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 how about that? That's terrible. Okay, but still, could you play a request for all my friends? That is for Sam, John, Chris, Cyril, Harry, Roger, and tell them that I'm having a knockout time and that the local is okay and the local talent is tremendous. And it's signed, Sincerely, Sandy. (laughs) 